you can see the login has actually worked. We have a logged in as admin and there is the response that was sent from the backend system. We even get back the password hash, okay? So that's actually poor development on our backend. There should be no reason for the backend to be even sending that password hash. While this is maybe fascinating to you, we are still blind. We don't know actually what got processed on the database. Thanks to how we set up everything in Docker, we can actually go and take a look at that right now. So here you can see this was the first one that worked, right? This is this one right here, okay? This log right here. This statement shows that what was processed from the database is the following. Select all from users where username equals admin or one equals one and password hash equals password one, okay? So let's take a look at this, okay? This is the statement that got processed from the backend, okay? So we understand this part, select all from users, right? But here we have this clause saying only show users where the username is equal to admin or one equals one and password hash equals password one. Okay, we have two conditions here, right? So here is condition one, this section right here. Let me go ahead and put a bubble around it so it's a little more obvious for you. So this is the first condition, okay? This is the second condition, okay? So notice that this second condition has an and statement in it, okay? This is gonna make more sense to you coming up. Just stick with me, okay? Just stick with me. So on condition one, there is in fact a user with the username of admin. So this condition turned out to be true. However, on our second condition, one equals one is true, but when we add the operator of and password hash equals password one, this actually results into false, okay? But because we're using an or statement, only one of them needed to be true. And because this turned out to be true, we do in fact get a user where that condition meant to be true, where username equals to admin. If you're diligent and paying attention, you may notice that we got lucky. We got lucky in guessing the user's username of admin. But what if we put in a username that we didn't know? Like, let's say we didn't know the username, which is most likely the case, right? There's an unknown username. Would this payload still work? Let's try it. So we click login. And this time, the payload did not work. Even though we put our or statement in our single quotes and felt all fancy with our syntax, this did not work. Let's talk about why.